So that was just a little video to show you the lengths that I would go through in order to have an espresso. Pretty crazy, I know. And then I couldn't find the plug, so it didn't work out. Now you're saying, you know what, we have Tim Hortons, we have Starbucks, they're all over the place. I, for one, I drive a lot, and there's a lot of times where I'm in a specific area that just, there's nothing around. I have a supercharger, and there's no Tim Hortons or uh, Starbucks around. You know, go driving around, just being lazy. I have a solution. Well, I don't. Wakako has a uh, solution. And there it is, the Nanopresso. Basically, it takes fresh grounded coffee. So let's have a look at the product. It has your cup already attached to the machine, right? So it's compact and small. It even comes with a case. So you can keep it in that storing case while you have it in your backpack or in the car, wherever traveling maybe you're going to a friend's house for a couple nights or you're going to a hotel and again hotels have coffee but they don't have espresso machines cup look at this inside you have your cleaning brush you have your tamper then your brewing side so you have the piston that basically releases the espresso out this is where you're going to put the grinds into it also has this is your piston ring so this is what you're going to be to brew your coffee why do I keep saying coffee? This is what you're gonna do to brew your espresso. And pour in my fresh grinds. So now you take this. This is basically the filter where it's gonna go through. Take it on top, it sits on there perfectly. Look at that. Flip it over. And again, you got your grinds on top and now this becomes your tapper. And just settle the coffee in there, tamp it down. You can see the way it's on the edges there. Then we're going to set it up. So there is the bottom of the machine. And then flip it over. Take the other end where it's going to drip through. And now screw that on top. Now this is the cup. I've already preheated that with water. Now there is a fill line in here. And I'm just going to pour my boiling water into it. So you got your hot water in there. And the machine now has all of the coffee grinds ready to go. Put that on. Again, just make sure it's tight. Don't over tighten it. Open the piston. Very easy. Twist it and open up. Keep it at about a 30 degree angle is what they say. And then just start pumping. It's going to take about 8 to 10 pumps to get it going. And you're basically going to keep pumping until it stops on its own. That's it. Now, one thing, again, I have used this a few times just to try to get used to it. it. It definitely is a bit of a learning curve, how much water to put in, the coffee grinds. Oh, it smells so good. This is um, Barista Parlor, the Daredevil. I picked this up in Nashville, Tennessee. It's very, I know it's irrelevant to this product, but it's papaya, blood orange, and earl gray, the tasting notes in here really really good it was one that i had it there very acidic -y. It, it was it was a perfect espresso oh really i i totally i love my espresso sorry don't mind me but again my fault again i put too much water you see you have to get that perfect ratio and not enough coffee grinds that's one way to brew it now there is a second way to do this the uh, wakako makes the nano press ns adapter so with this adapter what it actually does is now you can use your nespresso pods so virtually now you're basically putting this in i'm not going to do it because i'm not going to brew it now but there is a video. So enough of this, let's play that video for you. So uh, here's Margarita and I. We were camping last night and today we're going to uh, have the uh, Nano Presso and see how it goes. But this time we're gonna be using the, um, the capsules, the espresso uh, capsules. Yeah, baby, get me coffee in bed. <laughs> <laughs> in bed in the Tesla, anyway. Yeah. I just wanna give a big shout out to uh, Dave and his family at uh, the Happy Hearts uh, Park. Um, we were able to get this nice uh, spot here. I'm gonna make some espresso. Going to boil the water now. 
Uh, it's so nice to be able to make an espresso while I'm out camping. This is the NS adapter. The capsules from the Nespresso machine. So it makes this machine even easier. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of grinding up everything and weighing it out, you now have the option with this kit. Let's put it together. Comes with another cleaning tool and a case for its own. So that's the only hassle now is that you either need a bigger case or carry the two pieces. But I'm pretty sure you're going to decide if you just want to use the Nespresso um, capsules or you're going to do the grinding which basically extends this piece out take the capsule pop it in and you want to hear that quit then take the top part and tighten it up then we're going to open up the water tank and now with our boiling water pour it into the cup screw it on open the piston valve and now we start pumping and fresh espresso Nice workout for the mornings too. And there you go. Freshly brewed espresso on a camping trip. Oh, it smells so good. So there's Margarita sleeping. Let's get the espresso to her. Uh, she's awake now. Excuse me. Drive through an espresso. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so how is that for a camping trip? So the nano press machine. Then when you're done, you just use that little brush that they give you to clean it. You can see, it's like a perfect puncture seal. All right, so while I make one for myself, now that Margarita has had one, let's talk about it. It makes a bit of a creme, actually. It's uh, interesting. You, you really need to get used to the technique of it. You have to have, obviously, boiling hot water. If you're going out in the day, and you bring a uh, vessel of uh, boiling water and it can keep for a couple hours then you know later in the day you can have access to one i, I mentioned earlier about road tripping and again same thing though but you need boiling water so i would love to take this with me on uh, long road trips because there's many times where i can't get access to espresso while we're you know depending if it's late in the evening or night or just the area remote area that we're at the nice thing with the bio light which i'll pop a link right here is that it is very portable but you have to start it up you have to get the wood going so overall so far i'm liking this i'll, I'll do a, a review of it again in a couple months but uh, there is my first look and first thoughts and the uh, nano press with the ns adapter i'll put a link below um, and i'll give you access to the nano press uh, if i find any discount codes i will definitely pop it in there with it and if you're interested, if you do pick one up, let me know. If you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up. If you did not find it useful, give it a thumbs down. Just click the thumbs down twice. Thanks for watching.